Hello everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix Xbox app not opening or not launching on Windows 10 or Windows 11. So if you have any similar problem, then follow the list of solutions that I'm going to share in this video. And I'm pretty sure that by the end of this video, your problem will be fixed. And if this get fixed, do not forget to like and subscribe. And also let me know in the comment section which method work for you. So we will start with running some kind of a scan that will be helping to find any kind of infection and any integrity violation. So you need to click on your Windows search, type CMD, right click on command prompt and choose run as administrator. Then click on yes, the black window will be coming up. Here you have to type few command and all the command used in this video you will find in the description. So you can even type manually or you can also copy from the description and paste here. So the first one will be SFC space forward slash scan now. Hit enter. Now this scanning will take some time so we can minimize it and move with the next solution. And next what you will have to do, you need to click on your Windows search, type store, click on Microsoft store. Once the store comes up, you need to click on your profile picture, then click on sign out. And once signed out, you need to sign in back again. So again, click on sign in, then sign in with your right account. Now it might ask you for the password, so you need to enter the password or PIN. And once logged in, again check back if the problem has been fixed. And if this doesn't work, next you also need to make sure that the date and time setting has been properly done on your PC or laptop. So on the right hand corner, you will see your date and time. Right click on it and then choose adjust date and time. Now here make sure set time automatically option has been enabled. Then from the left hand menu option, click on region. Make sure the right country or region has been selected. So if you are in United States, choose United States. If you are in, in India, then choose India. So choose the right location of the country where you are living. All right. Then you have to click on language. Also make sure the right language has been uh, selected. Then again, come back to date and time and click on sync now. Once done, you have to close it. Next, click on your Windows search again, type troubleshoot. Then click on troubleshoot settings. Now here click on additional troubleshooters and then here you have to scroll down to the very bottom and you will find windows store app. Click on it and then click run the troubleshooter. Now it will start detecting the problem and if there is any kind of suggestion it will let us know and sometime it automatically fix the problem. Alright so now here it give me a recommendation that you can reset that app from app and feature where you are having the problem with. Alright so what we can do we can close it. And then click on Windows search again, type WS reset, hit enter. The black window or blue window will be coming up and the Microsoft store will be coming up again. Next, you have to close it again. Click on your search box, type here store. You will be getting Microsoft store, right click on it. Then click on app settings. Now here you scroll down a bit. You will find the option of reset. Click on reset, reset again and wait until the reset has been completed. Once done, you have to close it. Next, you have to click on Windows search again, type Xbox. You will be getting Xbox game bar, right click on it, choose app settings. Scroll down, you will find the option of repair. Click on repair, then click on reset. So now after applying all the solution, you have to finally restart your PC and check back that if the Xbox app is now coming up and your problem has been fixed, and if not, then we have plenty of more solutions. So just stay and watch the entire video. All right, next, what we will try to do, we will try to re-register the Microsoft Store. So click on your Windows search, type PowerShell. You will be getting Windows PowerShell. Right click on it and choose Run as Administrator. Then click on Yes, the black or blue window will be coming up. Now here you need to paste the command that you will be getting in the description. So copy from the description. And right click on this windows powershell and the command will be pasted then you have to hit the enter key and this command will be executed now so wait until this has been completed and meanwhile we can open the black window where we started a scan so it says windows resource protection did not find any integrity violation so that's good but probably you get something different messages that there was some integrity violation and it has been fixed all right, so whatever the message is, you have to paste another command that again you will be getting in the description. So do not get confused. All right, the black window command will be different and this blue window for the PowerShell command will be different. Okay, 
So another command that you have to paste in the command prompt will be dism space online space cleanup hyphen image space restore hell. Again, this command you will be getting the description. You have to run it and this will take some time so you can minimize it. And now you can see this PowerShell command also has been completed so we can close it. And next we also need to delete Microsoft Store Cache. So what you have to do, right click on your Windows icon, then click on Run. Type here percent local app data, percent again, then it on enter. And here you have to look for the packages folder. So keep scrolling down until you find the packages. Double click on packages. And then here you have to look for Microsoft.Windows Store. So we have to scroll down and here it is microsoft.windows store underscore 8 w e k y okay so it will be very similar you have to look for this folder here right click on it and then click on delete once deleted you have to close it and now finally again you have to restart your pc and then try opening your xbox application i'm pretty sure that your problem will be fixed and still if you have the issues then next what you will have to do you need to make sure that your windows is up to date so click on your windows search again type update you will be getting an option check for updates click on it and here you can click on check for update again and if there is any kind of update available for your windows 10 or windows 11 kindly go ahead and update it and then it has to be restarted restart and check back again and then again you have to click on your windows search type powershell you will be getting windows powershell right click on it click on run as administrator then click on yes the blue window will be coming up and again here you have to paste few command that you will find in the description so go to the description copy the command right click over here and it will be pasted hit enter once done you have to paste another command paste it and hit enter again all right so now after this you have to close everything and then we also need to restart some gaming and the xbox services so click on your windows search type services hit on services app services box will be up so the first one will be xbox accessory management service so you can keep scroll down to the very bottom and you will find xbox accessory management service double click on it and the startup type it should be set to automatic and you can see the service status has been stopped that we need to run again. So the startup type choose automatic then click on start. Alright so once it started you have to click on apply then click on ok. Again come back to services and look for xbox live authorization manager double click on it. Uh, make sure startup type has been set to automatic then start the service. Then click apply and then click on ok. Do the same with xbox live game save. Choose the startup type to automatic start it. Then click apply and OK. And then the last one will be Xbox Live Networking Service. Choose to automatic, then start. Apply and then click on OK. Now you also need to look for the gaming services. So you need to go to the G section. And if you found any kind of services related to like gaming services, you also need to make sure that the service is set to starting and the startup type has been set to automatic. But on my end, it doesn't show up, so I will skip it. But if you find it, then you have to restart it. All right, now once it's been done, again, restart your PC and laptop. And I'm pretty sure that your Xbox will now be coming up and it will launch properly. But in case, still, if you do not find the solution, still, if you have the same issues, then finally, you will have to go with the restore point. You will have to restore your PC to the previous date where your computer was working fine. In order to do that, you have to click on your Windows search rstrui.exe, hit enter. The system restore will be coming up. It says recommended restore or choose a different restore point. So you can click on choose a different restore point, then click on next. And now here it will show you all kind of restore point created on your system. You can even check the box of show more restore point. And from here, Choose the right date when your computer was working fine, then click on next and your system restore will be started. And after that, your system will be working absolutely fine. So this is the last solution in case nothing worked for you. Alright guys, so that was complete list of solutions that will be surely helping you to fix Xbox not working, not opening or not launching problem on Windows 10 or Windows 11. And if this worked for you, do not forget to like and subscribe and still if you have the issue, then let me know in the comment section. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.